welcome back to our channel. Now today's vlog is all about how to get into DJing. Um, over the past couple of years we've had quite a lot of you guys asking for tips of how to get into it um, and recommendations. So we thought we'd dedicate a vlog towards it. Now for all you budding DJs out there, we're going to leave all the links and all the information underneath the vlog so you can go away and do your thing, do your thing. Um, yeah, so basically let's give you a little bit of background information about how we got into DJing. Um, so we've always really massively leaned into music, absolutely yeah. loved it. Um, we, we kind of grew up on stage doing musical theatre, so we were always singing. Um, we have literally been to so many different festivals over the past five, six years, so music is such a big part of our lives. We have a lot of friends who are DJs, so, yeah, we've, we've always been uh, surrounded by music. Yeah. And very thankfully, my, my boyfriend is a DJ, which has been such a massive help for us. He's the one who's taught us taught us from scratch. Um, so we're super thankful to him for, for having taught us because we haven't needed to go to any schools or have any lessons. But we have, in this vlog, given you recommendations on schools you can go to and lessons you can have. But yeah, after about five months of learning, we secured our first gig, which mm -hmm. was super awesome. And since then, we've made it we've made it a full-time full career, career which we? is so much fun DJing together. Yeah, it's awesome. Um, so yeah, we're gonna give you all the top tips, everything you need to know about how to get into DJing. Let us know if it helps and I hope you enjoy. Okay, so number one, loving music is a must. For those of you that want to get into DJing, you really need to think about the reasons why you want to get into it. And I think if loving music isn't one of them, then you, you might need to rethink about why you're doing it. Because like anything in life, it takes a lot of hard work and persistence. Yeah, it's a lot of hours you're putting into it. You've got to be super dedicated. Yeah. And most importantly, you have to be passionate. Um, it takes, you know, time trawling through the internet looking for tunes. And it's all about practice, 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 consistent yeah. practicing. I guess it's with everything. It's all about practice, practice, practice. So you gotta love it. You gotta love it. Okay, so number two. Get lessons or watch YouTube tutorials. Obviously, me and Jordan were lucky enough to have Josh to teach us how to DJ, yeah. so we never really had to invest in lessons um, or pay for lessons, which was amazing. Um, but we've had quite a few friends that have had lessons, um, so we have some really, really good recommendations for you guys. Indeed. So, there's a school called LSA, the London Sound Academy, which is supposed to be the best school in London for yeah. DJing for beginners, intermediates and also for advanced. So um, we've heard firsthand that it's absolutely it's brilliant. And um, we've left the links below um, so you can get more information about that. Yeah, that consists of three modules. So you can have beginners, intermediate or advanced. And I'm pretty sure that each module includes four sessions, each of which are two hours, which I think is perfect. And you can choose when you have those lessons, seven days a week it's open. So for those that are trying to juggle it alongside a full-time job, it's absolutely perfect. The courses are around 289 pounds. They're not cheap, um, but they're, 100% worth it. Yeah. Our friend um, went to this school, he came out and he's an he's absolutely incredible yeah, he's DJ, smashing, he's absolutely so smashing well. it. Um, so you know we've, heard, but we've heard firsthand that it's really great. Um, but for you, those of you who are on a budget, you've always got YouTube. There's so many great YouTube tutorials on DJing, you know, from the basics to, you know, advanced. Um, we, we've done a couple, but, uh, um, you know, luckily we had Josh, so we didn't, you know, rely on YouTube. But I do know that YouTube is a, is a great way also to learn. But obviously for YouTube, you're gonna need to get your own decks, which comes on to our next pointer. Okay, number three, buy MIDI controllers or decks. Yeah, so when me and Jordan first started out, we bought ourselves um, the DJ SR Serato MIDI controllers. Mm -hmm. So they're these small MIDI controllers which are absolutely perfect to learn off. They're around £450. Um, we've included the link below if you guys want to check it out. Um, but yeah, it's absolutely great to learn off. All you need to do, you, you attach it to your laptop um, and you play it through a music program called Serato. I think the best thing about them is that they're super lightweight. So when we first started yeah. out going to all our gigs, we'd take them with us in a little briefcase and it was super simple. <laughs> little briefcase. A little briefcase. Um, super, super easy to carry around. We also got the two rocket speakers with them, which are valued at around £100 each. Um, it's always worth investing in the more expensive ones like these um, just because of the sound quality. So yeah, as I said, for the first year, that's all me and Jordan used to DJ mm. off. But you know, the more gigs we got and the more we realised this was a full-time career, um, we decided to invest in some new decks and, and learn to DJ off USBs because taking those MIDI controllers around to all the gigs started to get a little bit annoying when a lot of the other DJs were taking these tiny USBs with yeah. all their music on. So we were like, we need to make that leap. Yeah. 
So we ended up buying the top of the range decks, um, which we actually have in our living room now. They are the Pioneer CDJ2000 Nexus. Now they are valued at around 5,000 and we got this from Dex, which is, there's a link below as to where we bought this. But they're, they're the best decks you can get. Very expensive, but worth it. We, we now are obviously DJing off USBs and you know, wherever we go, it's you know easier than carrying the, you know, the, the decks before. You can just pop your USB in your bag and I think if, if you get to the point where you know you decide that it's gonna be a full-time career, then it is obvious that you want to invest in yeah, yeah, it's worth the investment. So, um, number four, buy good quality headphones. Yes, yeah, so there are so many great headphones out there, mm -hmm. but personally, me and Jordan think the Sennheisers are the best ones to DJ off. Um, we have the Sennheiser HD 25 Studio headphones, which are around £129 each. Again, we've put the link below um, if you guys want to check them out. Now, they're not the fanciest, but yeah. in terms of sound quality, they're definitely the best. Um, there's also Master and Dynamic headphones. We've used these. These are great. Um, they come in all different styles and colours. And they are slightly heavier than the Sennheisers. But yeah, we've got the link below, so. Number five, get a Beatport. Yeah, so Beatport is definitely the best place to buy your music. Um, you get the highest quality tracks there and all the new releases. And I'm pretty sure that's where the majority of DJs go to buy their tracks. Um, it's definitely the best for, you know, the housey, disco, techie music. Um, but if you're looking for more kind of commercial, R&B or hip hop, um, we tend to go on iTunes and buy, yep. buy our tunes there. Now, you should really be on Beatport all the time, you know, constantly looking for new music, um, building up a comprehensive list of music from all different genres so that you can sort of whack out any tune depending on, you know, what kind of night you're playing at. Okay, so to end with, just a few tips and pointers. So number one, make sure that you really concentrate on the genre of music that you love playing. It's really obvious when you're out playing the music that you love, um, the energy, the vibe, yeah. and you just invest more time in it when you love it. Obviously nowadays, most DJs play a number of different genres, but generally you're gonna have one genre of music that you love. Ours is mainly house, I'd say. So yeah. you can, it really comes across when you're playing the music that you love. Yeah. Another tip I'd say is shazamming. Shazam, 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 shazam. shazam, shazam. Everywhere you go, um, if you hear a tune that you like, make sure you're shazamming it and adding to your collection of, of music that mm -hmm. you love. Literally, I do it all the time. If I'm at a festival, at a club, yeah. at a party, and I hear it and I'm like, wow, that is a sick tune, I'll shazam it. So that is a good one. I don't know what I do without shazam. Shazam is life. Amazing. Okay, Yay. so we hope you found that useful um, and helpful in any respect. Uh, we've left all the links to all of our recommendations below, so make sure you check them out. And for all of you budding DJs out there, just remember hard work and practice will get you there. If we can do it, you guys definitely can. Definitely can. So yeah, hope you found that helpful. Mwah. See you later.